I'm gonna read y'all this letter that a fan gave me. It really almost brought me to tears, man. You just have to focus on your own journey. Never stop trusting the magic of your divine path as long as it makes sense to you. Keep going. It's okay to be misunderstood, but you understand yourself, and that's the real prize. From Juan. Thank you, Juan. That was very special, man. I'm going to read y'all this letter that a fan gave me. It really almost brought me to tears, man. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Uh, it said, don't get stuck in the trap of trying to prove yourself to others so that you can be on the same page. Sometimes wisdom is realizing it's okay to be not on the same page. You don't have to worry about the version of you that they have created in their heads. You just have to focus on your own journey. Never stop trusting the magic of your divine path as long as it makes sense to you. Keep going. It's okay to be misunderstood, but you understand yourself, and that's the real prize. From Juan. Thank you, Juan. That was very special, man. I'm going to keep that with me until I die. playing overseas and I'm not playing in the NBA and to be honest um, it's really an amazing experience and I think it's disrespectful to people talk about the competition level here obviously a lot of these guys haven't played in the NBA but you have a lot of guys professional players who come from different areas of the world who play in this league or play in Taiwan or play in the Philippines or play in these many different countries, I think it's very disrespectful to disrespect all these guys just because they didn't make it to the NBA. NBA only has 450 slots. It's going to be hard for everybody in the world to make it to the NBA. So it don't mean that they don't have talent. It don't mean that they can't play in the NBA. It don't mean that they're not good. It's just the NBA might not be for them playing basketball overseas, you know, so this is my first time ever doing this in the 18 years of being in the NBA. Um, I'm playing overseas and I'm not playing in the NBA. And to be honest, um, it's really an amazing experience. You know, really just get away, you know, and sometimes you gotta get away to get away. So, uh, this is great for me just to be here, um, be here in Taiwan with you know, these beautiful fans and the people here. It's just so amazing. Yeah, they bring me a lot of fruit and stuff like that. So I've been eating this. Like I've never seen an orange like this. Really. Yeah, this is an orange. So I've been. Uh, these, these are really, really good. So I love you. <laughs> and LA. And this is a real good really experience. It's playing basketball here. Um, yeah, my coach doesn't speak English, so <laughs> it was really crazy to be playing with a coach that don't really speak English and, you know, how you communicate with this guy. So when we have a translator, we gotta talk to the translator. He gotta translate what we're saying to the coach. In my mind, I'd be like, is he really telling the coach what I'm saying? Um, but but then you know, I really like the coach. Man, he's a real. He's a real good guy. Um, real tiny, real tiny. His name is Bobo, and he's always smiling. And I think it's disrespectful for people to talk about the competition level here. Obviously, a lot of these guys haven't played in the NBA, but you have a lot of guys, professional players who come from different areas 
of the world who play in this league or play in Taiwan, the player in the Philippines or play in these many different countries, I think it's very disrespectful to disrespect all these guys just because they didn't make it to the NBA. The NBA only has 450 slots. It's going to be hard for everybody in the world to make it to the NBA. So it don't mean that they don't have talent. It don't mean that they can't play in the NBA. It don't mean that they're not good. It's just the NBA might not be for them. Fire. Guava, okay. They fire. I don't even front. They got some really good fruit here. And noodles, too. I got some fire noodles right here. So I like the spicy noodles, so I got these. I love the basketball here. Um, basketball is almost the same everywhere. The job is to score, play defense, and not let the other team score. And uh, the guys here, they're very passionate the same way they are in the NBA. You know, a lot of guys want to come over here to Asia, and especially um, here in Taiwan, to be a part of the culture and to play basketball here. So uh, this is amazing for me. You know, after spending 18 years in the NBA, I found so much love and passion and joy by coming to Taiwan and playing with my new teammates and playing with uh, having a coach like Bobo. Uh, so it's been amazing. I'm very thankful to be here. You know, after, like I said, 18 years in the NBA, I don't want to go home. I want to stay here in Taiwan. <laughs> Oh,我看一下白沙进去，结果不要在我家。这个下次再切进来，肯定会有阴影啊。而且他打的这个火锅，哈，这个不只是风阻你，而且是有点想要让你的信心有所动摇了。是。Oh, oh, 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 o